all right guys welcome back we uh we finally have the boat fixed i think so we're gonna put it in the water and see if we can't catch some fish hopefully we all can catch some fish Spot number one. Got an assortment of baits. I'm gonna run sunfish, bluegill, and goldfish. Katrina's got a sunfish and night crawler. Dad's gonna have bluegill and goldfish and probably a sunfish, but nonetheless, we're gonna get everything cast out and get to fishing. So much trash. Probably give this spot another 15. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, okay. Katrina's hooked up. My thing is stuck though. Okay. Got it? Hold on tight. Net. Oh, yeah, just hold on. Okay. Ready? Yep, reel them up. Nice and gentle. Okay. Do I need to be on, you need to be on this side? Not yet, just keep running up so we can see him. He's probably not as big as I think, but. I thought it's what he was. <laughs> Giant carp. Okay, how, what do you need to do? Okay, let's just hold on a second. He didn't even have a bite. Carps don't, they normally just take off. All right, well, Katrina's on the board first. <sighs> With a giant. Well, um, I don't know if my dad would like something like this. Not that big. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Interesting. <sighs> How do I hold this fellow? <sighs> He is slimy as You might as well just, yeah. All right, guys. Jeez. What a carp. Nice first fish for the day. Nice. All right. Just, right here? yeah. Get yourself situated comfortably and you eat that thing back in the water. Ready? One, two, three. All right, guys, spot number two. Another decent little cut-in eddy. 
You so see that'll basically be kind of where we're fishing today is these small little cutout pockets. Get just out of the current, but stay right on the line of the current. See if we can't find a couple flats or blues. But anyways, let's get casted out and see what we can find. Where are you at? I'm literally probably 10 foot behind the boat. We're gonna do a little resituating. That's what I was afraid of. I was going to resituate. Find out if they're all like that. I got a stick or my fish is sideways or... I got a flathead that's the same size as my bait. That's exactly what it is. Did you know you had a bite? I had a bite earlier, but. Oh, yeah. How about that? Did you have that on camera? Well, this is what happens, guys. You get one little bite and you don't think anything of it because, well, your fish that you caught is the same size as your bait. But he pretty much swallowed it. That one's going to resolve pliers. We'll be back in a minute, guys. All right, guys. There's one more look at the little guy. He's definitely going home to be dinner. I'm getting him a little water. I want the dark line. Sorry. It should be sitting up. There. Yeah. And now I got some re rigging to do. Got that one unsnagged, but lost everything. And then that one just got broke. So, well, we had to cut it. <laughs> He swallowed it too deep, so I'll get my hook and stuff back from him when we clean him. But, so now I gotta make some new leads. <laughs> most of my, not always, sometimes it's just whatever I got, but most of the time, my leads are, I start out long, I trim them. Might be a waste of line to some people, but I like to get where I want it on it. So, but anyways, I run a, it's Muddy Cat. It's 50 pound leader line, mono. Get it all entangled. Big old J. I don't have any of the eights on me, so I'm gonna run a 10. A snail knot. And I don't fully think that it's like a giant deal or anything of it, but I run a couple beads down onto the hook and then a little rattler. Just because the water is always so muddy and everything, it kind of just helps attract them. But get that one tied on and then we'll do the other one. That's enough water for him for the moment. 
the, I tie the hook on with a snail knot and then basically the everybody's got a different name for it but like the five man's fisherman's knot onto the swivel cut the old leader off get the wife's new hoodie all dirty I was looking at my leg instead of the hoodie I didn't forget to hook him nope. hook him down the line and I also don't fully believe necessarily that the length of the leaders always a deal breaker. I do try to leave them between like eight and 18 inches though. There's that one. The other one will pretty much be the same way, just a little shorter leader, and I got to actually put the weight slide and everything on the other one, but we'll get it done, and then we'll get back to fishing, guys. All right, guys, finished rigging up, got baits on. I just gotta get them back out in the water. Kinda touched a little base on some of the gear we're using today, so I'll just finish that up with Today I'm running two styles of line. They're both mono, but one is uh, from Whisker Seeker. That'd be this orange line you guys see. I like it. It breaks a little easier than the green line, which is kind of nice on certain snag points to have some breaking pressure, but it also stretches and it's really thin diameter. Then this other line I run is uh, Cat Max. This bright green stuff here. It's a it's also 40 pound, but it just seems to have a lot higher breaking tolerance. I seem to have to cut it more than actually get it to break on snags that I just can't get it to come back on. So but so far we like them both. We all kind of use them. I'm gonna order some of the Whisker Seeker braid this year and try it out. Most of the time when I run braid, it's 80 pound suffix for river fishing, but nonetheless, it's a little touch on gear. Now let's get back out there and hopefully catch a fish. Just reel it up tight and set the hook for now. Got him? Yep. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Good job. Got him? Mm -hmm. He might flop on you, just hold him tight. Nice, buddy. Perfect eating size. All right, guys. Katrina's on the board of fish number two. She's definitely caught the biggest, the most, and the most species now. With two fish. <laughs> yeah, I can't get Give me my fish back. <laughs> I want my bait. <laughs> I got him for a minute. Set your pole up and get it situated. And then we'll get a photo with you with your Some, uh, little flatty. And we'll put him in the tank. You got your phone? Yep. I don't Do you have want mine. to get down here? It's just up here. It doesn't matter either way. My fish and my hands are swinging. Nice. You got a lot of color. Mm -hmm. Ready? Drop them in. There's your phone. 
All right, hopefully this camera picked up a little bit of that. I don't know. It moves around too much. All right. Now, since your bait is officially dead dead, uh -huh. all chewed up and slit, you can't put your hook back where it was. I'll when put it through its mouth? Yep. Put it through the mouth. You can't bite it. Just look like it was pulling. Yep. It is. I got you. Got my hook or pull. Is your other one on? That one's off. Oh, yeah, just click it once though. So it's sensitive. I can't tell. I got a big enough bluegill that if it's turned sideways, it feels just like a fish. So, no, nope, I missed him. He's got some bite marks. Isn't that kind of interesting? Uh huh. He was a bit. Let that settle for a minute. Nope, got the gar back. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Came back and attacked it on the swim in. Oh, Dad now has caught two <laughs> wonderful gars. Man, Dad. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why do you always record me at the wrong time? All right, guys. Well. That's a wrap. We got a couple flathead. Katrina caught that giant carp. Caught some gar. Missed a lot more gar. Watched some more gar. Almost got hit by some carp. Luckily, they got in the boat, but didn't get us. But nonetheless, boat's back on the trailer. We're getting everything unhooked up, ready to go. We'll catch you guys on the next one.